Welcome to BIMP, Black Heritage Enterprise Marketplace Corporation, an e-commerce enterprise platform created for black business owners and empowered buyers across the globe. We are the platform that empower buyers frequent most, the enterprise that our employees love working for, the parent company of BEMCO, Black Entrepreneurs Marketplace, a black-owned e-commerce, black business membership marketplace, and a marketing and advertising platform for black business owners. We provide a variety of features, such as a black business directory for both state and national searches and targeted product and service searches. Black business owners, advertise and market your brand to the most important consumers on earth with BIMP. Black business owners, join BIMP today, BIMP Corporation. about taking care of everybody. You take care of the people who put you in office. That's the primary purpose of politics. Politics never existed the way it exists now until the 1500s. And it's based on a French word, policy, policy which means take it, quid pro quo. It decides what, who gets what benefits out of life. It's based on a simple premise of something for something. You put you, you, you help me, I help you. You scratch my back, I scrap yours. You put me in office, I owe you. And that's why when a person goes into a public office, all these black elected officials, they swear an oath. Mm -hmm. Said, I would, I would hereby promise and commit and raise my hand on the Bible saying that I would protect who? Those individuals who voted for me and put me in that public office. And I never see anybody holding them to that. Mm -hmm. I don't see anybody, and I, we got the Congressional Black Caucus, 40 some people. They swore an oath that they would protect black folk. You tell me where have they been all these years? What are they doing? with all this suffering of black folk in this country. All these problems, when, when, as I said, 30 some percent of black adults and black youth own the beneath the poverty line. 51% of, of all the prisons in the United States are black people that sit up in prison. 51% and out of all of them is in prison right now that, that are black, 96% are black men. They're an endangered species. 96% of black men own about four or 5% of women black women, but and yet they're talking about all these gender issues. It's the black man that's the endangered species. I don't see nobody raising cane about that. You start talking about simple things like unemployment, the unemployment rate right now. It's not what you hear on TV about, well, the black unemployment rate is double F for whites. That's a lie. Black unemployment rate for two years, about three or four years ago, was 38% across the country. That was a national rate unemployment for black folks. 38% in Baltimore, 38% in uh, in, in uh, Detroit, more than forty nine percent in Pittsburgh, fifty two percent in uh, you know in New York for blacks uh, over eighteen. But I I, I got to get off of that. I, that's not what y'all want to hear about today. How, how do you feel, Doctor Claude, about the black people like myself who have been telling you know politicians our vote only those who support me. I will support only those businesses that's was also willing to commit and help my people and support my people. I, mean, I give you my money buying it out of your store. If you're not doing anything for black folk, you got a business in the black community, then you better start putting some money into back into the black community. And so we're the only people that won't practice quid pro quo. Others will. When Chinese come to down, down, down here and put, set up stores, black folk go to them. But when black folks go there to, 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 to get something from them, the Chinese says, uh, they pretend they can't speak English. And they told them on the phone again, we only buy from we only buy from those people or for, who are <clears throat> who are not who are, are Asians. We buy from all our own people. We deal with our own people. We only hire our own people. We're not gonna hire the black folk in a Chinese restaurant. We're not gonna do anything for y'all. We do take care of our own. They said only you black folk. So they said we have a code of conduct. You all don't have a code of conduct. You all spend your money with any and everybody. And that and so and that's the problem. We spend ninety. We spend ninety-six percent of every penny we get in our hands. We spend it with people that are not a member of our group or our race. 
96 cents out of every dollar goes immediately to people other than black folk. And we got a $1.3 trillion budget that passes through our hand annually. We don't spend it with our black people. We impose, we impose poverty on our own people. Do you think people are, are more concerned about buying black now and supporting black owned businesses than ever before? I'm sorry, say it again now. Do you think people are more aware about supporting black owned businesses now than they have been before though and buying black? I think that I think so. Yes, I, I do believe that. But unfortunately, the problem is that we don't have enough black businesses to service them. 